So I cleaned up uh, and painted the uh, final drive. Uh, just a little bit of detailing there. That's the other side. Um, I've got the distance collar. I've got some uh, grease on the splines of the pinion drive and the main drive there and that's ready to be reassembled I have the drive shaft um, I've put some grease um, at the universal joint there I've put some grease inside the splines there and at the other end and uh, I've got the rear wheel with the brake on and that's all ready to be assembled. I've got my uh, axle shaft with the appropriate uh, washers, nuts and the uh, little space washer there as well and uh, ready to uh, reassemble. So the drive shaft goes in from the front the final drive Just do them up by hand at this point. I can now fit the uh, rear wheel. Uh, this is a 120, what is it? 120 90, 18, and fully inflated. I couldn't get it between the swing arm and the uh, final drive, so I let the air down, and now it just makes it. But if you had a slightly bigger tyre, you may not get it through. You might have to remove the final drive in order to remove the tyre. I've put a vice grip on the end of the dry shaft uh, just to lock it and stop it from rotating. So when I start to marry the uh, wheel against the final drive um, it doesn't move around the final drive doesn't move around so I can lock the two splines together make sure that the distance collar is suited properly otherwise it won't allow the wheel to sit all the way I just prop this up a little bit so I can lift it onto it seated and now I can put the, uh, the axle with the uh, washer on that side So I've been having a bit of trouble getting that axle through. Every time that I try to get it through, it just pushes the final drive out the other side. And what I figured, which has been an ongoing theme, is that the powder coating uh, on the inside has narrowed the diameter of that passageway for the axle to go through when it gets to about 
about say there it just stops and then it just starts to push the final drive out because it can't get in but this must be a slight taper ever so slight anyway it's not going in so I'm gonna have to dremel out the inside get all the powder coat off and then stick it in yep I've cleaned up inside uh, and uh, I can now fit the axle and it should just go in this time washers in place Now I can do the uh, nut up on the other side. First I'll tighten up the, uh, the bolts to the final drive and then I'll do up the nut there. So the swing arm mounts are done up to 33 to 44 foot pounds. I'm going to do up to 38. Now, that's a tricky one because the swing arm is in the way. I'm going to have to use an extended uh, socket. Nineteen mil spindle nut. Torque forty to forty-seven. First this one, and then the clamp on the other side. So I'm going forty-four foot pounds. Yep. So the spindle clamp bolt on the other side takes an M8 by thirty-two flange bolt. Uh, I couldn't find the original one, so I just had one laying around, which is actually uh, a little bit longer, so 35. It stuck out the bottom, I could have left it like that, but I just cut a little bit off it, cleaned it up. And that's going to be done up to 14 to 22 foot-pounds. I'm going 19. I can now refit the brake torque arm. I had fitted the uh, the nut and the uh, split pin temporarily and now I can do it up properly there's a rubber washer a washer and a nut and then the split pin or spring pin Torque 11 to 16 foot pounds. Now I found that uh, this had locked in the wrong position, so I've loosened up the pinch bolt and the axle uh, nut that freed the uh, the brake again. So now I can place the torque arm in the correct position. The uh, back area has. A special bolt with uh, oops, with a spring washer, plain washer, and a nut. And uh, yeah, I had to clean all the holes that this passes through from the powder coating because the same thing. It wasn't allowing me to put the uh, bolt in properly, so I just put that in there. Spring washer from the other side. Plain washer. Again, around 14 foot pounds. And then you need a little split pin, which I don't have at the moment for this one. I've got one for the back one. I'll get one before I uh, forget. So I'm going to put the brake rod arm in, but same problem powder coat. And then I want to put the shocks on, but same problem, powder coat. So I'm going to have to get all that out and, uh, and then I'll proceed to fitting those things on. 
Okay, I've uh, dremeled out both sides of that uh, tube and I can now fit the brake rod arm. shocks I've got my progressive shocks they're the same length as the uh, shocks that came out of the original bike and I've got my parts that came out of the original bike these are the same eyelets as the one that was on and there was a packing washer or spacer some of the uh, powder coating as well. Yes, I just cleaned off the um, powder coat from the inside and that fits now, so here we go. off the uh, nuts cool 